Hey guys, forecasting the best conditions for any particular photo shoot is a difficult task at the best of times. And no matter how advanced your meteorology skills are, you're not going to get it right all the time. And anything that you can use to assist you with your predictions for something like good sunrise or sunset color or for nice clear skies for astrophotography is surely to be welcomed. Now, for many years, loads of us have been using an app called Clear Outside, which is a kind of tabular display predicting cloud cover in any particular geographic location around the globe. And the app still works, but it's basically abandoned and hasn't received an update, I don't think, since it was first released many, many years ago. Consequently, it doesn't work brilliantly on the latest versions of the Apple iPhone operating system and doesn't look particularly good on the new long screen. Stuff gets lost and the interface looks incredibly dated. So I was very interested when the author of a Sunrise and Sunset color prediction app that I've got called Alpenglow announced that he's releasing a clear outside equivalent called Starglow. Now, I downloaded the app and I've been given a bit of a test and I thought I'd show you how it looks and you can decide whether it's something you fancy using yourself. It's completely free if you're happy to have forecasts only a couple of days ahead. I believe the developer said he's going to extend that forecast range and that's what you'll get in the pro version. So here's an app that everyone can use. It's very like Clear Outside, but that's no bad thing because Clear Outside was a great little app. Anyway, let's fire it up. I'll show it to you on the Mac. So here is the main interface. At the top of the window there, we've got our location. Shopping heads in my case. If I click on the little location icon, I can tell it to use the phone's GPS to go to my particular location I'm at, at that moment in time, or I can use the search to go to any other location. Obviously, that's important because you're rarely going to be photographing in your hometown. You're going to be traveling somewhere usually. And so you can choose that location and see what the conditions are forecast for that place at that time. Underneath that, we've got today's date. We've got the sunrise and sunset times. And then we've got the moonrise and moonset times. The latter, of course, is very important because the larger and brighter the moon, the bigger the impact that has on the visibility of stars and the Milky Way. Down the left-hand side of the screen here, we've got things like time, sunlight, and moon. We've also got the cloud prediction percentages, precipitation, i.e. rain, snow, whatever, uh, the visibility, wind direction, Wind speed, temperature, dew point, and humidity. The latter two there are very useful if you think you're predicting something like a cloud inversion in a valley. So the way this works is it uses a traffic light system, much like clear outside, in fact. And if we scroll to the right, we can see that today the lights are green, which means that if we look at the total cloud percentage, we've got zero in all those columns. So completely clear skies here are absolutely ideal for a bit of astro. You can also see we've got zero precipitation. Not surprising, but with the zero cloud cover. Uh, we've also got excellent visibility, 24.1 kilometers. That's superb. Wind is coming from the north. Wind speed about five meters a second, so very light winds, temperatures four degrees. That could do with being a little bit warmer. Welcome to winter in Australia. Yes, it does get a little bit cooler here in the winter. That's the prediction for now. So let's say I wanted to go out tomorrow. I can scroll to the right. So we're going at three, four in the morning, five in the morning. Now you can see we've got the color change there on that sunlight bar. So night's giving way today. So it's all 
quite pleasingly color coded so you can quickly see, you know, where you are. And so obviously not great for <laughs> shooting astro during the day. If we keep scrolling to the right there until we get into the nighttime hours, I can see that tomorrow again is excellent. So if we look at the moon bar here, you can see that for tonight, we've got the moonrise at 2134, moon set 1115. So any time after that would be good. Down the bottom here, we've got some cloud coming in. So coming forward to tomorrow to Tuesday, we can see 17%, sorry, 14% total cloud cover. Not a deal breaker. In fact, sometimes a little bit of cloud's quite nice if you're shooting the moon or something like that. But that's not very much. A little, little tiny bit of low cloud scudding about. And again, remember at the top, we've got those traffic lights. So we've got green at the top. Green is good. means good conditions. So if I scroll back, I think we had a bad traffic light at the top. I can see at uh, 8 in the morning, the color of that bar of the 08 has turned to that amber color. And that's because if you look down, we've got a hell of a lot of cloud. Now, it can't be relevant because, you know, it's daylight. So you're not going to be doing a lot of astrophotography, but still, it shows you. So you can quickly scan across. You can check those traffic lights. So you've got green. Green is good. But then if you see amber or red, that means no good. So looking at this, at the moment, I can go forwards two days so I can go far as 8 o'clock on Wednesday so I can check the forecast. And it has to be said, it's looking all around pretty good around here for the Astro. Very lucky in that I live in a region uh, which is very dark skies. We've got extremely good visibility here. I can't remember what we are on the portal scale, but... Um, if I get in my car and drive a very short distance into the Morton National Park, which is, I'd say, about 10 kilometers from where I live, uh, we can get extremely dark skies. So perfect for the old astrophotography. But yeah, apps like this, very handy way of quickly seeing whether an evening of astro under the stars awaits you. So there you go, guys. That is Starglow, available for download right now on the App Store. Perhaps you should give it a whirl, particularly since it's completely free. I think any app like this that can help you, you know, balance the odds, skew the odds slightly in your favor is to be welcomed. None of these systems are perfect, but you can use them to kind of guide you. You know, don't take them as law. Don't say, oh, this is how it's going to be. And count on it being absolutely correct but you know with your instinct and your experience you can look at these apps and they can help you make a good judgment an educational judgment about how things are going to be on the night anyway just thought you'd be interested in that app i've been using it and uh, i can recommend it all right that'll do us for this little video hope you enjoyed it guys if you did do please give it a like so the algorithm gets pointed in my direction and if you did enjoy this content and got value from it do consider subscribing to my channel for more drone photo and video related content from me till the next time guys ta-ta